have a box. Hi. The box though is empty. Because to be quite honest at this point I think this particular product has been unboxed in every way you can possibly imagine. So what is this box containing? Well it contains this. Which is a little adorable tracer. This is from the Nendoro, Nendoro, I can never pronounce the name, <sighs> Nendoroid, I think it is from the God, God Sm Good Smile Company. And while I've been looking into these sort of cute, adorable little chibi figures for quite some time, I've never really been able to justify picking one up, because they are a bit pricey for what you get. And... Uh, then I came up with the Overwatch line, started with this one, Tracer, just released about a month ago. And, well, I simply couldn't refuse it. They are adorable, as always. These are these sort of shibby, semi posable to non posable but with exchange, exchangeable parts, depending on how much money the license is willing to pump into it. Blizzard, of course, pumps in all the money, so this thing has uh, one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen ish joints. Three face places, two adorable little guns, and uh, a leg. The leg is static, but it, and then another leg that is static. Regular posing leg. And. Uh, the problem with this series is that there is about five more coming out. Basically, you have this series of Genji, Hanzo, Mei, and um, Mercy coming out for now. Let's see whatever, whatever else comes out. And of course, a accompanying line of Figma figures. They, they are a bit more expensive, but also a lot more true to life, so to speak. See if I can put this on this, perhaps you can stand here with me. On a proper level. Yeah. Adorable. So, why would anyone pick this up? Well, I don't know. Because I like them. And, uh, I mean, if you're going to go knee deep into a series of stuff, you probably do it properly anyway. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. That looks fucking adorable. Yeah. So, why do I decide to pick up something like this one? Well, it's fun. Should you pick it up? Yeah, I think so. If you can get a hold of them, they're it's adorable little things. And they are fairly well made. Not exquisite made, but they're fairly well made. And the blister ones are surprisingly possible for a figure that size. Now, especially if you don't have the skills in a 3D printer you're to print at awesome Overwatch action figures yourself. And if you have a bit more money to spurge and like the more realistic style, you have the Figma figures that look awesome so far. Haven't released yet, but they look awesome. We'll probably get those too. <laughs> because, well, up, up until the point they produced uh, Overwatch licensed uh, Hot Toys dolls, these are probably the closest king thing you can get to not, not having to kick bash them yourself. And I said, if you have a 3D printer, that is doable, but I prefer not to do that. It's a lot of time that I don't have. So, as I said, this little sucker comes with a lot of accessories. And I think that, for all intents and purposes, they are adorable. Which is good, because that's the whole idea of them. And I'm really looking forward to building a diorama with these things because they go very well for that. But we'll get back to that as soon as I get some more. Right now, I could have her fight the master of the universe here, but that that wouldn't be much of a fight now, would it? I don't think it would actually. Let's see if we can get some nice little dynamic posing in here. Yeah. Just for fun. Let's see if we can make this look. 
Nope, that didn't go well at all. <laughs> Professional production, this is. Like that, you can have a fighting the master master of the universe, He-Man. I think that would be a pretty uneven fight, actually, for poor old He-Man. As cool as he is, he can't exactly do much against a pulse bomb. Could he? I guess he could. Everyone is the hero of their own franchise, so... Yeah. I'm happy, at least. This is an adorable product, and I simply adore it. And I think that this is a really good way to get some really cool Overwatch merch. But, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to see if I can zoom in a bit more on these to leave me a bit out of focus. Because I'm probably better that way. And uh, just imagine changing him and here for something cooler. Now I am hoping for a plus sized ones like uh, Reinhardt and Diva, but I'm not holding my breath. Good Smile does not exactly do that kind of scale on figures. They do the Nemgrod scale and they do the Figma scale and those are pretty much locked into the scale they are. We're probably going to get a desuited Diva, but that is not as cool as a Diva to make. Then again, that make is probably very expensive to make. Reinhardt, well, he also has the problem that he's way larger than he's supposed to be. So for him to actually work, you're going to have to be something like up here. Same Roadhog. Roadhog is also going to be troublesome. Because, well, he doesn't translate very well to the sort of shipified stick. Because he would be pretty much be just a belly and a head. We'll see. Time will tell. And, as always, if you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up. If you care about me like I care about you, then... Oh, I can't do it like that, actually. If you... And if you care about me like I care about you... Do hit the subscribe button. Tell me that you like me. And until next time, stay safe, be kind, and play fair. Bye.